guys, welcome back to a brand new travel vlog. Hello. <laughs> so we are in the beautiful city of Valletta in Malta and we've only literally just left the ship and it's already really stunning. Um, so we're just heading up now into the main city centre. So yeah, come along and explore with us. I was just telling Martin that loads of um, films are filmed in Malta because it literally does look like the set of a film. It's amazing here. The so these are like all the films. Well, I mean, there's been way more that have been filmed here. It's a movie trail, 150 films. Movie trail. I'm trying to see. What ones have you seen? Gladiator. Oh, I've seen. Oh yeah, Gladiator. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Game yeah. of Thrones. Um, Murder on the Orient Express. Assassin's Creed. This is the queue to get in this lift, which then takes you up to the city centre. It's uh, one euro. Oh, we're going to be brave and we're going to try the stairs. The adventure has begun, maybe not. It's just to the left, I think, isn't it? Oh, it's like we're queuing up for a ride. There's the ship. That's how high we are. We made it. We made it. 279. <laughs> These cannons they fire only at 12 o'clock so we probably won't be here but just for you to know this is where we've come out at the top of the stairs it's also where the lift brings you out this big fortress they want staff look historic reenactors tour guides so there's war rooms down there. You could just jump in that, couldn't you? Yeah, so after hard. all those steps. <laughs> Proud of myself for doing them. Yeah, that's fun. You don't even stop. So we're number three. Oh, it went very noisy. Okay. Two chocolate croissants coming up. So we've gone for a fresh orange, an apple, and then two chalky croissants. Or pan au chocolat. The official name. So we left Cafe Castile. That chocolate croissant was lovely. Lovely. Oh, oh. And now we're just having a mooch. Yeah. Seeing what's around. There's a Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> 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 Which Helena has to go to later actually. Saying you need some clothes, but I know you just want chocolate raisins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a little market. This is Jean de Vallette. And he's the one that ordered the construction of Valletta. And it's named in his honour. There's his plans, you see. I want you to build me. A place that you can name after me. I don't think he said that. <laughs> so you got some of the more popular shops. Mac next. People from the crew are going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. People, they're not passengers, they're workers. The crew. It's nice to see um, British shops. Mm. shops Any essentials you can get? Look at all this fruit. This is a good street to walk down because it's totally in the shade. <laughs> nice and cool. The Savoy Shopping Arcade over on this side. Uh, Clark's. Oh, there's even a red telephone box over there. And there's a cinema down here. So just for future reference. Well, for Helena. 
because by this time, the time this vlog goes out, I'll be back home. Um, see if it's got English showings. Um, I think the answer is no. I, I don't think there's any showings <laughs> of anything. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I can see a big giant M. So there's a McDonald's. <laughs> Again, crew will be happy. Is that Matalan? Yeah. I tell everybody on the ship that's where I get my suits from. And they always laugh at me, but you get some great stuff in Matalan. There's a Hagen Dazs. Get an ice cream. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's very dark in here. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an old castle, old cathedral. Um, so we were sat over there, but that light was sending the camera a bit crazy. So this is a cookie crunch, and I didn't realize it was gonna have like half a cookie inside of it, and then all the other stuff. Um, you're gonna have to forgive me. I've not had a very healthy day so far. Chocolate croissant, and then a, a cookie crunch. But you know, some days, yeah. I'll go to the gym later. I just got a cookie dough cone. It's very good though. Hagen Dazs is good. This is the aftermath of the chocolate brownie crazy cone. I don't know what it's called. When they got the bottom, it was just pure uh, chocolate. <laughs> but you had to eat it. I'm eating too much. <laughs> and a fly ate some of my ice cream. <laughs> we think we're going to go get a drink and go for a walk. Walk it off. Walk fly, it off. I can't imagine flying around. Because <laughs> I, I saw the fly and then I didn't know if it touched the ice cream, so I took a bit off and put it on a napkin. And then it's eaten it all. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, let's go. By the way, Hagen Daz has very, 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 very good Wi Fi. We're able to download all our shows. This is what happens when you work for a cruise ship. So we're back out into the heat. We've just stumbled into like a centre bit. Stalls and stuff. There is, yeah, there's an explosive ordnance disposal van. It seems to be leaving. It's leaving, which is good. <laughs> Flying Tiger Copenhagen. Is this like the tiger that we go into yeah, all the I time? Love this shop. These are the best shops. Just have a look around. It's just like random stuff, but it's so beautiful. Giant sunglasses. I used to have a pair like that. <laughs> oh, Bo a uniform. Box and pens. <laughs> Just showing this pulling bear because it's got like a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> oh, we're going in. I only meant just to show that. I didn't mean to go in. Cacti. Mickey Mouse hoodie. 25.99 euros. Look at this watermelon bag. 19.99. I don't believe it. Look at this top. <laughs> Sesame Street! 50 years and counting. And I went to the 50th anniversary in Universal Singapore. <laughs> I used to have this shirt, actually. Really? Or a version of it, yeah. My brother got me it and I don't know where it went. That'd be Another nice Mickey Paris. Mouse. Wouldn't that be nice for Paris? Is that a men's? Yeah. Oh dear, this, I shouldn't have come in here. Oh, it's so nice. How much is it? Oh, it's 25 99 Not too bad, though. Helena's very excited about something. I don't know what yet. She said I'm going to freak out. Ooh, what? How come these aren't in the... Are they just small tops, are they? Finding Nemo. Mickey. I love how M and M's just like in the middle oh of Disney. <laughs> That's cool. That's cute. You got Dumbo one. I I said I'd get a pick one, but it's gonna be hard to just pick. How one. much are they? Same as your no, fourteen ninety nine. Oh, Dumbo one's cute, yeah. 
What's this one? The villains. We all have that one friend who's a bit evil. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like this one, I must admit. Yeah, I think that would be great in the parks as yeah. well. And you go on the Little Mermaid ride. It's this one. I think it suits you as well. Oh, it's a crop top. Oh. That'd be good though for, um, for um, the parks, isn't it? This is the face of someone who's indecisive. Just noticed this very understated Kermit the Frog t-shirt. <laughs> it's just on the pocket. I think it's probably going to be fourteen ninety nine. Yep. Went with the tie dye, Sebastian. Oh, he's everywhere. Let's get out of the. We need to leave. We need to leave now. I have to go. I have to go. Walked out to this big open square. Oh, we found Marks and Spencer's. Just seeing how beautiful this is, Biblioteca. So I'm guessing that is the library and outside you've got Queen Victoria. So we've retraced our steps to bring us back to uh, Las Carras. It never feels as long when you know where you're going, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to go down. Was it 297? Yeah, I said? should be easier going down there. Down the steps. <laughs> well that high, you can see the entire pool deck of the ship. <laughs> Down we go! Someone's left a message. There's still a long way to keep moving. This is not a motivational quote. There's really just a lot more stairs to climb. So it's now half one and there is no queue whatsoever for the lift. Compared to what it was like this morning. Yeah. And we walked all the way. That's impressive. We walked really all the way up there and all the way down. My legs are shaking. <laughs> I think if when you wear sandals and stairs, you like brace your legs. So yeah, but not as bad as Santorini. No, no. Down that big because steep that's thing. As yeah. Well. I mean, this is crane chat. But look at that crane. Looks like a giraffe. So we're back on board now and it's really hot. I'm really struggling. Um, I think it's nearly like mid thirties. Um, but yeah, I've just come back and I'm like really, really tired, but I just threw on my uniform because I went to um, get some food in the buffet uh, before I start rehearsals. But I thought I'd quickly show you properly what we got from Pullenberg because they're so cute. Right, so this is the tie dye top I got. Um, so it's got Sebastian on, just be you, and it's all tie dye, and it's like a really baggy crop top. And I thought this would be perfect for Disney World. Like, I'm so excited to wear it. Ah! <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna give this to Martin to take home with him because I'm scared that if I wash it in the crew washer and dryer, it's quite harsh. So I feel like some of the colours might fade, and then also this might come off. So. I think he's gonna take it home with him to keep it safe until our next trip. And then he got, he loved this, it's so cute. It is this Sesame Street t-shirt, which is so cool. Quite understated, uh, but it's really cool. Um, and then this reminds him of when he went to Universal in Singapore, because he was there for the 50 years um, celebration. So, yeah, so good. It was such a good pull and bear. I, I really do love pull and bear. Oh, and then I also went to Tiger and I got a um, charging cable, which is quite boring. But if you're looking for a charging cable or headphones or anything like that, head to Tiger because they're so cheap. Um, on board, they sell the Apple charge charging uh, leads and they're like 15 quid whereas this one was about four quid so yeah that was good um so yeah i think i am gonna shower and then i'm just gonna get ready for rehearsals um we're doing a cabaret tonight of friends of macintosh which is all um shows that cameron macintosh has produced um so we're doing that in the atrium and then we have two shows of putting on the glitz which is our anton dubeck um he choreographed it 
and so it's his show and it's all kind of strictly come dancing style um so really good fun but also really tiring and you saw how many steps we walked today so i'm hoping my legs will be all right for that later <laughs> um but yeah i think i'm gonna leave this vlog here and i will see you in our next one thanks so much for watching guys bye <laughs>